Hello and welcome to Khalij Times. The College of Natural and Health Sciences at Zayed University have recently launched a Master of Science in Environment and Sustainability Sciences. We're joined here by Dr. Yusuf Nazal, Professor and Chair from the Department of Life and Environmental Sciences, and Dr. Rania Degem, Associate Professor and Chair from the Department of Health Sciences. Welcome to Khalij Times. Thank you very much, Tanisha. Thanks a lot. So, what is Education for Sustainable Development for 2030? And what is the role of education in achieving Vision 2030? If I want to answer this question, then we have to go a little bit back. Why now we are st we start talking about actually sustainable development? Why we are trying to introduce the sustainable development in our educational system? This is very important. No doubt we are having uh, an, uh, an environmental challenges all over the world, the globe. And the fact we have uh, more impact on our environmental ecosystem. Therefore, I think it is the time to start changing our curriculum, changing our educational uh, uh, system towards sustainability. So many, many edu educational or academic institutions, they started actually to work on the introducing the environmental sustainable development into their curriculum, into to their programs. And Zaid University is one of these uh, academic institutions. Institution. Plus, also, it is not. It is the government and the global willing actually to work on this very actively and urgently, because you need a global uh, global leader, future leaders. So those of you future leaders, they are going to be the decision making. If they are not well trained, and they are not already, you know, they have the qualification to lead in this aspect. I don't think. Uh, we can really handle whatever problem we are facing nowadays. Therefore, in the vision of 2030, the educational sustainable development as part of the government initiated the fact actually uh, to make changes in the academic institution in the school and university level to uh, handle this issue. So when it comes to the United Arab Emirates, how is the country contributing to sustainable development goals and what is the country doing to ensure the sustainability of the environment, Dr. Nazar? I'll tell you one thing. You know, uh, actually, the energy is one of the biggest challenges for everyone in the world. In spite of the fact that we are producing the oil, but still, actually, you know, now to move to the renewable energy resources, that's a big challenge. And the government of the United Arab Emirates, actually, when they uh, work on the clean energy, and they have uh, almost $163 billion for this purpose, just to um, support actually the uh, goal of the sustainable development, which is stated by the United Nations, 17 goals. And we are obliged to implement actually these goals uh, in the United Arab Emirates and even in the region also, in the globe as all together, okay? Mm. So therefore, the United Arab Emirates uh, government and the academic institution all together, they work very hard and they are working very hard to introduce the sustainable development education towards to have actually good uh, experience in the clean energy and to have sufficient food and reasonable uh, with the reasonable price, health care, uh, quality education and so on. Dr. Rania, coming to you, what role do you see companies and organizations uh, in the United Arab Emirates play in su promoting sustainability and reducing their environmental impact? In general, the organization and businesses or companies in the UAE, they have all the resources, the reach and the influence to create a change and impact both within their operations and beyond. Uh, there are several ways they can uh, uh, contribute to the environmental efforts and the sustainability efforts. For example, uh, by adopting environmental friendly uh, practices, by uh, investing more in renewable energy, by promoting sustainable products and services, also by uh, uh, engaging in reporting and uh, sustainability reporting and disclosure. Uh, more important also by encouraging their uh, partners, clients, suppliers to be more environmentally uh, uh, proactive and uh, work, uh, with, work closely with them on uh, uh, the best sustainability practices. And the most important thing, of course, is to support the, and implement 
uh, the uh, public policy in relation to environmental sustainability. In coming to Zayed University, what role does Zayed University play when it comes to promoting sustainability? With no doubts, uh, Zayed University plays an, a key role in promoting sustainability and um, advancing environmental sciences uh, in, the, in the UAE. Uh, this is through education and research, through community engagement, uh, through uh, 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 policy advocacy, and most important through the initiative that we, uh, uh, we have within Zayed University and outside Zayed University. For example, to give you an idea, we do have several projects that are currently underway as part of the Zayed University Sustainability uh, Initiative. To give you an idea, uh, to give you examples of these uh, projects, we have projects that uh, address the uh, sustainable practices for uh, organic waste management, uh, the uh, ecosystem monitoring and conservation, water management and conservation, in addition to food security. Uh, in addition to that, we work closely with our partners to organize workshops and uh, educational campaigns in the field of sustainability and environmental sciences. Uh, the most recent examples were the uh, Sustainability and Innovation Day, uh, the uh, Green Living and Innovation, Innovation from Waste. Uh, we also have environmental clubs uh, on our campuses and our students are actively involved in these clubs. They do organize lecture series, sustainability lecture series. They uh, uh, initiated the Kuluna Garden and the composting projects as part of the uh, uh, sustainable initiative within Zayed University. Right. Um, Dr. Nazal, can we discuss the importance of interdisciplinary curriculum in addressing environmental and sustainability challenges and how professionals hailing from various backgrounds uh, work to make a positive impact in this area. You came actually to the right uh, uh, topics. You know. Because, you know, multidisciplinary actually or interdisciplinary, uh, this is a, a topic nowadays, you know, and it is a, a science, in fact, it is needed. The classical science, it is a supportive science, but nowadays we need applied science. Correct. The interdisciplinary science, it is part of the applied science, which is very much required now by the international community. And the uh, educational uh, institution all over the world, they started actually with special programs in multidisciplinary. Zaid, they have the CIS, new college actually, which is, uh, which is having uh, more than, so far they started with the four or five uh, disciplines, but they have more now and it's growing up actually. Uh, so therefore I feel, you know, uh, the multidisciplinary, it is quite important and it is influenced, the fact, by the social, political and the economic systems. Okay. So, if you want to apply the multidisciplinary, you must have a support. The support comes from the economic, social and political system. Yeah. So, therefore, I feel, you know, uh, Zaid University they are, and other academic institu institutions, they are putting lots of effort to introduce the multi and to apply and implement the multidisciplinary uh, sense because that is the future. Yes. Which brings me to my next question. Can we discuss the potential for innovation and experimentation and uh, discovery in environmental and sustainability? And is, is that possible through academic research? And what are the initiatives that Zayed University are uh, implementing? Let's this. come to the first part of your question, the research and innovation. You want innovation, you must have good infrastructure for research. And research usually solve the problems. Like if you see in any other uh, international or in the other countries, in the developed countries, you know, when they have any problem in any sector, in the industry, infrastructure, in the agriculture, they go to the academic institution because they have the infrastructure, they have the research centers. So therefore, they are capable for the innovation. So Zaid University, no doubt, the, we have actually an excellent infrastructure and I wish you can visit our labs and you can see. So the CNHS, the fact they have the most advanced uh, infrastructure for research for all chemistry, biology, molecular biology, uh, physics, uh, environmental sciences, uh, space uh, and uh, uh, the most sensing, jazz. So we have an excellent labs. So therefore, you know, now for the future, we, we, we have to prepare ourselves for the future. And if you don't have a uh, good infrastructure for research, you won't be able to do it. Zaid University, the fact they have already an excellent teaching and 
research laboratories. They also, Zayed University offers very excellent funding opportunities for the research. We have uh, research funding goes up to 1 million. That is for the cluster. The RIF, you know, it's uh, about 300,000. You can start up when, when anybody get actually employed or get hired in, the, in Zayed University. They start with startup fund 20,000, it goes up to 30,000. So, uh, and it's not difficult actually to get this fund for, by Zayed University. I remember in my past year, I had the, the three projects. And I know many colleagues now, they have two funding projects supported by the Zayed University. So therefore, we have good funding for research. Plus also, Zayed University, they are trying to incorporate the sustainable development research within their research plans. Right now, environmental science is growing at a faster rate than ever. Uh, what is the career outlook for environmental scientists in the United Arab Emirates? Uh, indeed, uh, the field of environmental sciences is growing at a rapid pace uh, with uh, a projected uh, employment growth in this field of 5% from 2021 to 2031. Um, uh, the UAE is no exception. And with the, uh, 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 the fact that this is uh, as part of the national priorities of the UAE, the UAE has invested significantly in uh, environmental and infrastructure sustainability, I have no doubt that the career outlook for the environmental scientist is going to be very promising. And there will be a demand for environmental scientists with the knowledge and the skills to address the immediate environmental challenges. Uh, could you give us an overview of what kind of jobs environmental scientists will be uh, aiming for in, in, twin, in, the, in the future? Uh, in addition to the traditional environmental job, there will be an urgent demand for uh, uh, professionals with skills in the, in the area of uh, uh, data analysis, geographic information systems, and other te technological tools that will help formulate uh, data-driven decisions and policies. To give you example, there will be also need, uh, or to give you specific example, there will be need for uh, environmental sciences working in the field of environmental assessment and monitoring, uh, in the field of environmental compliance, um, environmental law and education, uh, in addition to uh, renewable energy uh, sector, uh, water management, uh, resource management and conservation. Uh, uh, we can, uh, there will be a need for people working in the field of air quality and air analysis, pollution analysis in addition to sustainable urban uh, planning uh, fields. And there are many others. So the outlook in general is very promising. It's very positive. And I um, assure you that there will, there will be demand, increasing demand for professionals in the field of uh, environmental sciences and sustainability. Overall, the environment is extremely positive for environmental scientists in the UAE. Thank you so much, Dr. Nazar and Dr. Rania for joining us today. Keep watching Khalij Times.